Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to have another tournament and today's category is tinted lip balms. I'm very excited and a little bit nervous for this one. I have so many formulas here that are so near and dear to my heart. I don't know how I'm going to decide. But before we get started, I wanted to say a huge thank you for all of the love on my first video like this. It means so much to me and I'm so happy you guys love this concept as much as I do. I think it's going to be so fun to explore more with this concept, go through all categories and then get really creative. It just made me really happy. So enough mushiness. Before we get into the tournament, I'd love for you to subscribe if if you haven't already and let the tournament begin and here's our bracket for today so as you can see here I had an odd number of products so I made like a little mini tournament on each side before the main tournament begins this is the only way I could map it out to make sense to me anyways so let's get started let's start on the left first up we have the dear Dahlia blooming edition lip paradise color bombs I have the shade Julia right now more points because they have a shade named after me <laughs> just kidding not me but a Julia out there <laughs> versus the Burt's Bees Glossy Balm. And I have the shade Wine Wednesday here. This already is tricky because I adore both of these formulas. <laughs> I think this might be more challenging than the blush just because I had more time with the blush. It was my first time with this video concept. So it took me a few days to put that video together. Whereas this one, I knew how to formulate it. So I didn't have any time to think about these products much. So I just quickly swatched them here so you can see the textures together. They're very similar, but I think I prefer the Dear Dahlia ones just because they have more shades. And I find that the Burt's Bees ones can be inconsistent from shade to shade, whereas the Dear Dahlia ones are consistent across the board and they have some really, really stunning colors. So my gut is telling me to go with Dear Dahlia. Now let's head on over to the right side. We have the M Cosmetics Lip Cushions, which are some of my top favorite formulas, versus the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm in the shade Brown Sugar. This is the only tinted version that I have. Now talking about the Summer Fridays Tinted Lip Balm, I adore their original lip balm. I feel like the tinted ones leave a weird taste in my mouth. Therefore, I don't reach for them as often. Although I find that this formula is very, very hydrating. It nourishes my lips. It heals my lips. So it gets extra points for that. But here are the two formulas together here. This is M Cosmetics in the shade Mystic, and this is Brown Sugar from Summer Fridays. I'm just going to go ahead and put forward M Cosmetics. It's been a favorite formula of mine for years, and I still reach for it on a weekly basis. Okay, now now let's jump back to the left side of things. Now the real tournament is starting. And I took your guys' advice and I kind of matched up similar-ish formulas, I guess, although they're all quite similar. There's some that are more matte, more glossy, and so on and so forth. So, oh yeah, I guess these two I already kicked out. Wow, okay, I feel sad about that. <laughs> so now we have the Dear Dahlia Tinted Lip Balms versus the Rare Beauty Glossy Lip Balms. And I didn't know where to put this one if I should include it in my gloss tournament that's also coming up soon. So I decided to put it in both just because it's glossy and a bomb. <laughs> So here are these two formulas. This one is Rare Beauty Nearly Rose, and this is again, Dear Dahlia Julia. So this, ooh, okay, let me think about this for a second. This is tricky because I feel attached to both formulas, but speaking about the Rare Beauty Glossy Lip Balm, I feel like this is innovative just because it is truly a gloss and balm hybrid. It feels very nourishing. It applies a really cute tint of color and they have really cute shades as well. And I already talked about the Dear Dahlia ones, but something is telling me that the Rare Beauty one is moving forward because the Dear Dahlia one does have more of a basic tinted lip balm texture. I feel like I'm more attached to the colors more so than the formula in that aspect. So I think the Rare Beauty ones are more attention grabbing. They feel more unique to me. So they are the winner. <laughs> In the next bracket, we have the Glossier Ultra Lip versus the L'Oreal Glow Paradise Balmy Lipstick. This L'Oreal product is a recent favorite of mine. They are so nice and thin wearing, but glossy and sheer and everything delightful. And the glossy ones are so impactful. They have so much shine. They honestly feel similar to the M Cosmetics lip cushions in a few ways. They're just 
a bit of a thicker tube. They're more stiff of a formula too, so they're not as squishy and less glossy, I would say. You can see how impactful they are. They have such amazing pigmentation. They're very smooth in pigmentation as well. They're not streaky whatsoever, and they have good longevity because they do have like a tackier grip to them. They still feel very smooth on the lips, but they stay put really well. I feel like it's going to be Glossier just because this shine. <laughs> This shine is really grabbing my attention. I think these are incredible. And I feel like the L'Oreal ones are so new to my life, but these have stuck by my side for a few years now and they're still kicking. I feel like Glossy is the winner of this round. I just felt my stomach drop a little bit. I feel bad to leave this behind so early on. I feel like this should have gone further, but yeah, I feel like it's too new. The Glossy Ultra Lip and I, we have history together. They've been with me on a few trips. They're memorable, you know, I'm so attached. <laughs> Ooh, these ones are quite similar. So we have the Charlotte Tilbury. Oh, I forget what these are called. This formula from Charlotte Tilbury versus the Makeup by Mario Moisture Glows. Very similar components. They both have that scrolly thing where when you scroll up, you can't scroll down. So be aware of that. They both have a very glossy lacquered effect. I recently decluttered the ones I had in my collection of these, but I got sent a few new ones over the holidays. I got rid of them because they were super old, but here, are the formulas. This is Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury and this is Bronze Glow from Makeup by Mario. This was my first ever moisture glow and what got me addicted. I would say that this formula from Charlotte Tilbury feels quite tacky. You definitely feel like you're wearing a lipstick. They feel more lacquered than a balm and I wouldn't say these are very hydrating. I don't know if these are considered favorites. On the other hand, the Makeup by Mario, I can't put these down. These are for sure winning this little bracket here. I wear these nearly every day. I reach for them all the time. Every time I purchase something from Sephora, there's one of these in my basket, I swear. I currently have six in my collection and they're all my favorites. <laughs> I don't have one shade that I prefer over the other. It changes every day. I can't get enough of these. These are for sure the winners. Easy win for the moisture glows. And the last one on the left side here are the Simi Haze Super Slick Lip Balm versus the K de Peau Brilliant Lipstick Shines. And I'm not sure if this is really considered a balm, but it kind of looks like one, so I included it. So here's K de Peau in the shade 211. Influential is the shade name. And this is Simi Hayes <laughs> Clay. I just decided to include this one because I had it currently in my collection, but this is a this is a formula I highly dislike just because of the amount you get. Hold on, it wasn't scrolled up by the way. <laughs> there, it made such a difference. <laughs> But the formula, if it was like an average amount and not this half sample size version, I think it would be a good product. The packaging is really cute. I wish it was a little bit more well built, but the formula is actually pretty good. There's just a lot of other negatives that come with it. And the Clay de Peau one is stunning through and through. Not so stunning, the price tag. I think this is near $80, <laughs> I think. The last time I checked, it was around there, Canadian, which is crazy. But I do wear this one quite a bit. It's what I'm wearing today. <laughs> With a little bit of a moisture glow topped because I couldn't decide. Clay de Peau is winning this round just because there's so many negatives that come with this one. Clay de Peau is moving forward. Now let's jump to the other side. We've got the Keys Soul Care Comforting Tinted Lip Balms versus the M Cosmetics Lip Cushions. Now this is a newer formula to me. I've only started using it this month and I will say it's not entirely a favorite. I do like the tones that they come in. I believe the shade range consists of four shades. This is the shade Inspiration. It's a really pretty kind of black honey-esque darker shade like that. It feels really nice. I just wish the tint was more consistent. As you can see, it looks a little streaky and it translates that way on your lips. And because it's a balm, you'd think that it would smooth out your lips a little bit, but I find it catching on my dry patches if I have any dry lips that day. And it really enhances it and kind of gets patchy and clumpy. So I know already that the M Cosmetics lip cushions are moving forward in this round. In the next bracket, we have the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Lip Balm in the shade Bliss You Berry. This is the only color I have in my collection versus Clinique Black Honey. And I 
pitted these two together because they are so similar in tone. This one right here is Clinique and this one is CoverGirl. They're very, very similar as you can see. They're pretty much exact dupes. If anything, the Clinique one is more pigmented, but it does lean a little bit more red which the beauty of Black Honey is that it's perfectly in the middle of red, orange, yellow, and blue. That's why it's so flattering against many skin tones and many undertones. I don't know, they're so similar. I'm having a difficult time discovering which one I wanna move forward. I thought it smelled like watermelon, am I mistaken? I guess so. It is funny though, because even though I've had this lipstick in my collection for a while now, I keep finding myself finding drugstore dupes of it <laughs> and wearing those more often. Like I've done that with the Burt's Bees Glossy Lip Balms in the shade Wine Wednesday. I did that, wore this one over the Clinique one a lot. Here, I just quickly swatched it. I think it's going to be the CoverGirl one because it's at a better price point as well and it does have a better smell. The Clinique one smells like old makeup, not like expired makeup, but makeup from the past, you know? Like it just smells like cosmetics. Whereas this one doesn't smell like anything. So I really had to get picky there. It came down to sniff. <laughs> so cover girl, you got this. In the next bracket, I have the Shiseido Color Gel Lip Balm in the shade 111 Bamboo. This is such a nice formula. It's very hydrating. It has a really beautiful glow and a consistent pigment. It's very, very light. And the other formula here is the Charlotte Tilbury. I don't know, I don't know why she doesn't put like the names of the product on the product. I just refer to this formula as sexy lips. It's just the shade. Yeah, I have a lot of history with this lipstick. I've used it for years. So here are both formulas. They look very similar in texture. They both have a very consistent base. They have like a similar vibe to them. They're both like a skinnier lip balm, but I will say I'm more keen on the Charlotte Tilbury version. Why? I don't know. <laughs> I think it honestly came down to shade. I do prefer the Sexy Lips shade over the Shiseido one. I find myself forgetting about this one constantly. I have to like visually see it to remember it, but this one just stays implanted in my mind constantly. So Charlotte Tilbury wins, wins this time. Ooh, and the last one down here is interesting. We've got the Undone Beauty Matte Talk Lips, which is kind of like a lipstick formula, but it's so similar to the one it's battling here, which is the NARS Soft Matte Tinted Lip Balms. These right here are so unique. I'll give them a swatch in a second. So these are similar in the way that they're both matte, which is very interesting to see when it comes to a tinted lip balm. Usually we're used to seeing like the textures of every other product in here, that gloss, that glow, that hydrated look, whereas these ones are matte, so they're very different. I will say NARS is going to be winning this category for sure. There's so many shades that appeal to me at any phase. Sometimes I'm in the mood for darker tones or lighter tones and there's a shade to suit the day. I don't know if that sentence made sense. I'm getting really excited to talk about these, but these have been huge favorites of mine for years and I feel like it would be weird to not put this one forward over the Undone Beauty formula. But the Undone Beauty formula is very similar, but they do have funkier shades. I feel like this is more of a formula in between this one and the Glossier Generation Gs. It's just like a sheer matte lipstick, whereas this one actually has a hydrate aspect to it and it feels just like a lip balm but it's matte. I'm tempted to swatch them all quickly right now. So the one I had was Touch Me. This is Unrestricted which is becoming one of my favorites. It's like that nice pinky color I've been reaching a lot for. Then we've got Intimate which is kind of like a yellowy nude shade close to my skin tone. Then we've got Brief Encounter which is a really pretty soft brown. Gorgeous. This is Dangerous Affair. So pigmented and smooth and they're consistent from shade to shade. This last one is Whiplash. Look at these colors. They're so beautiful. I think these are my top favorite NARS products. They're so good. So yes, NARS wins. <laughs> okay. There we are. It's time to move on to the next round and things are just going to get spicier and spicier from here. It's gonna get hard. So moving back to the top left, we have the Rare Beauty Glossy Balms versus the Glossier Ultra Lips. I swatched a few more shades just to help me decide. This side is Glossier, this is Rare Beauty. I am, 
I think I'm going to put forward Glossier just because I'm, I think I'm more attached to them and the shades I reach for more often, although I find Rare Beauty to be very innovative and different. I love how pigmented the Glossier Ultra Lips are. I think it's very difficult to find such pigmented tinted lip balms. There's a lot of tinted lip balms that come out that are way too sheer that are so not worth the money, whereas these ones, I feel like you get so much for your buck. Like you only need a little bit and it will deposit full on pigment and glow. So yeah, Glossier wins this round. I think we can all predict the next winner. <laughs> the Makeup by Mario Moisture Glows versus the Clé de Peau Brilliant Lipstick. I only have one shade in the Brilliant Lipstick, but here are all of the Makeup by Mario ones that I own, and here's the Clé de Peau one over here. We know, we know Makeup by Mario wins again. Easy decision, don't even have to think about it twice. These are also very unique because they're so lacquered and you also get a cooling sensation because it's plumping. I wouldn't say it like makes your lips bigger, it just feels really nice on your lips. And just ugh, the shades just take my breath away. Moving on to the right side of things, we have the M Cosmetics Lip Cushions versus the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Tinted Lip Balm. I swatched all of my lip cushions. The only one I don't have is the clear one. So these are all of the shades that M Cosmetics offers. They're all beautiful. I would say they're very similar to Makeup by Mario in a lot of ways. They just don't have that plumping, cooling sensation, but they have a same delivery system. They're like a gloss and a stick where you twist it up and you can't bring it back down. It's a very soft, lacquered, glossy texture. I think I'm more excited and more attached to the M Cosmetics version. Again, we have that history. <laughs> Whereas this one I just got like last month. I haven't worn this one much yet. Whereas these, I've worn for years. I feel like I may be more attached to my tinted lip balms rather than my blushes. I feel like this is hurting my soul a bit more. <laughs> I don't know why. Ooh, we're getting close already. And below here we have the Charlotte Tilbury Sexy Lip Formula versus the NARS Soft Matte Tinted Lip Balms. Ooh, this is gonna be a toughie. I, I believe it's going to be NARS because they have a more unique finish and texture and they have such gorgeous shades. They just bring something entirely different to the table compared to the Charlotte Tilbury version. Love both, but love NARS a little bit more. <laughs> okay, okay. Is this the semifinals already? Yes, I don't know. Moving on to the next round, we have the Glossy Ultra Lips versus Makeup by Mario. These videos are so fun, probably for you, but for me, I love seeing my true, true favorites in the center here. These four here, for sure, my top recommended tinted lip balms. I'm trying to prolong the inevitable here, but let's get into it. Okay, so here's a Glossier Ultra Lip versus Makeup by Mario. I feel like we all know which one I'm going to say. I don't even have to say it. <laughs> Boop. Makeup by Mario, baby. Oh my goodness, I can't believe we're this close to the finish line already. Oh my god, what the heck? I'm gonna have to make a big decision. Moving on to the right, we have M Cosmetics versus NARS. Oh, these two are very similar. This is Van Gogh from M Cosmetics and Whiplash from NARS. Um, what are the vibes here? Oh, this is a hard one, but I think my gut is telling me NARS. <laughs> yeah, NARS is the winner here. I agree with you all. I think doing this live would be so fun with like a live chat, just hyping me up. That'd be so cool. And here we are, the finals. <laughs> I wish I had like a little theme song. I just swatched them all again. I just realized I swatched them on the wrong sides. So here's Makeup by Mario and here's NARS. So two very different finishes, but kind of similar color stories in a way. Why do I do this to myself? I honestly feel like I need to flip a coin. I don't know where to go from here. I guess if I'm being very picky, the moisture glows give me more of a tinted lip balm vibe because of its shine and such, because this, can lean maybe like a like a matte lipstick. Although they're very hydrating and such, this reads more like a tinted lip balm. So I think the dub goes to Makeup by Mario. <laughs> Makeup by Mario wins tinted lip balms. Yeah, I feel okay with that. I think that is the true winner. I know many 
say I'm predictable, I would just say I'm consistent. I mean, at least I'm consistent in my favorites. You know, when I really love something, you're never going to hear the end of it from me, you know? Like, I will make sure you know it's my favorite. <laughs> Yeah, and here's our final tournament. I love the way this looks. This looks exactly like a butterfly. <laughs> and you know what? I'm just realizing right now, this color story I picked for this tournament reminds me of that shirt from the 2000s. You know exactly which one I'm talking about. I'll have to throw it up on screen. I don't know if I can put it up on here because I'm using my computer, but you know exactly the one. It's camo, it has pink writing on it. I think there's a little monkey. That paired with those brown gaucho pants, forget about it. Fashion queen, you rule the school. Oh my God. There we have it. That wraps up the tinted lip balm tournament. Did you predict the winner? I would love to know down below, but these are so fun. I believe I'm going to be filming my lip gloss and lip oil version next, but let me know what category I should do after that one. But that's going to be it for me today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. I will make sure to link all of these tinted lip balms in the description down below, so feel free to check that out, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.